question I get a lot is like, how did you know when other people were lying to you? Right. And it's like, yo, it's so easy. So you talk about studying psychology. How do you think that kid who applied for a survivor however many years ago, yeah. how do you think his game affected, you know, how well you did, like your personality yeah. and all of the attributes that made you who you were before Survivor, how did that give you a leg up in the game? You know, I I truthfully like graduated with a degree in psychology just because yeah. I like the classes and I like studying about psychology. Right. But I had no intention to yeah. ever become a psychologist. Like I left college after five years and yeah. went to go work in construction because right. I love to work with my hands. Yeah. But I often like my mom and dad, I tell them like, I use my education, just not in the traditional sense. You know, Absolutely. I end up using it on the island. But I think uh, there's lots of lessons that come from psychology that you learn in Survivor and human in the human experience. Like one I, a question I get a lot is like, how did you know when other people were lying to you? Right. And it's like, yo, it's so easy. If you want to know, if you want to know if someone's lying to you or not, just ask them a question that you already know the answer to and see how they respond. <laughs> That's genius. Like, it's so simple. <laughs> That's genius. But like people don't Did you use that. that a lot in Survivor? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would know information about right. someone and that, but like, so like, what do you think about this? You know, and then you see, and then you, then you can see. And the other thing is you have to always try, and this is a good lesson for life too, not only for Survivor. You always have to try to see things through the other person's right. eyes. Right. If you truly want to know what their motivation is or what their objective is, you have to understand their motivation. Right. And the only way you're going to do that is to see it through their eyes, not through yours. Because right. if you only look through your lens, you're not getting a, a clear picture. So try to flip it around and put yourself in their position. And I think in life, if a lot of people did that in relationships, I mean, survivors ultimately game of relationships, Absolutely. right? So if you try to see it from the other person's perspective and really try to do it, which is hard, you know, if it was easy, then, you know, the divorce rate wouldn't be through the roof. Exactly. Relationships would all work out great. But if you can focus on it and do it, then I think you understand their motivation. And then like, it's kind of sick, but it's easy to manipulate them. In a game like Survivor, you got to be able to do that. And make them almost feel like you're still their friend at the end of it as well. Right. Do you yeah. feel like some people get that wrong in terms of playing? Like they almost play too maliciously where they get the manipulation down, but can't do it in a way that makes people want to give them their vote at the end? Well, you just have to make them feel like they're your friend until they can't yeah. sit vote. After it doesn't really matter, right? Absolutely. But I mean, I feel like I've always easily been able to separate, you know, the game from real life. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that probably has to do with my upbringing, being from Boston, my right. family, and like, you know, like just being able to separate. Like I was the kid that like, if the ball game got lost, you get up, shake the other guy's hand, all right, try harder yep. next time, kid. Yeah. And that's it. Absolutely. You know, like we're not crying about it years later. Right. About what could have, should have, would have. Like my dad would never stand for that. Absolutely not. Right. So thank you so much for watching. For more insights, education, and all things doing the most, make sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button right down below. That's right, everybody. Smash that like button and make sure you join our Discord for exclusive offers, tips, and a whole lot more. You might even be able to come on a yacht with us. Woo!